Now, this is, uh oh, he must have sent me another load. He had to. You're down the cat! <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. All right, y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all what 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 we gonna be doing. I have to train somebody. I start training again. Ain't this, <laughs> yo? Listen, I have to train to fly how to do step deck, flatbed, and specialized heavy haul. Well, me and her gonna be learning that together because I don't know how to do that. <laughs> 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 so we're gonna be winging that one. We're gonna be real with you guys. We're gonna wing that one. And I like, I don't really know how to do that. It was like, oh you figure it out. I'm like, are you sure? Like, yeah, man, it ain't that it's just it's just flatbed with permits. I'm like, bro, okay. I'm like, alright, so I'm getting messed up. I told y'all I don't know how to do that. So I'm here to learn how to do that. He was like, Yeah, we'll walk you through it. So I'm so what well, we gonna start with right now, back to the basics. She got to learn how to wrap a strap. She got to learn how to put on the strap. She got to learn how to do a DOT wrap with a strap. She got to learn how to do a teardrop with a chain. She got to learn how to put up chains. She got to learn how to take chains out. She got to learn where to hook the chains to the loads, where to look for everything that's supposed to go. She got to learn how to do a ratchet binder, snap binder. She got to learn how to uh, put on edge protection. She got to learn how to do coils. And I know she thinks she's going to duck it, but she got to learn how to tarp. Now, I tried to get her to pick a tarp up. That went terribly. <laughs> that went so bad, bro. Like, it, it didn't go well at all. So, this is going to be the basis of our content. And then, at the end of the day, after we do all that work, she say she going to cook. Well, we'll put it this way. On the day she and the work ain't hard, she'll cook. Cause some, yeah, like if it's a, that work on whoop her tail ain't gonna be no cooking going if on. If it's a day, I promise that if it's a day that we're just driving, absolutely, I'll definitely cook. If we're tarping, and cause it seems to me now the uh, thing I'm noticing is that once you drop a load, you're going right to another load. So you're right. What time did you say we had to get that load? You didn't even look, did you? No, no, I got no, it. No, you would have looked it. the first time if I you did it, it right. You asked, no, because you asked me where it's going. You didn't say what it time. It tell you the time under where it's going. 1600. Oh, my. First of all, let, 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 let's, let's talk for a second. And I'm going to call him. What's dunnage on site for steel beams only? So we know we're getting steel beams. Dunnage is the wood between, between let's say, pipe blade. You see that, you see that wood between them pipes? Mm -hmm. That's dunnage. So that keeps it from scraping? Yeah, but it like, keeps it together. You know what I'm saying? It keep it like it gives. Like it's like building another over. level. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure they got a more. Matter of fact, comment at the bottom for a more scientific explaining yeah, of dunnage. Do I want to. You want to OD? You want to get scientific with it? Yes, like I really want to understand the terminology. I want to understand the techniques. I would have. It's I the wood some... between the logs, bro. <laughs> like, we ain't got time for that. I'm a. Yo, stop. Why you making fun of me? If you go out on the counter and one of them do, hey, what's done it? The wood between the load. <laughs> there it is, Jack, because you can't put it just flat on the bed. You know, you got to put the wood, and then you see how they make levels, and when you tighten it, it just comes it just comes together. So is that what kept it stabilized with this load? It tried to. This one started, started leaning like it was on something. <laughs> but then again, it don't got wood done. You got that plastic crap. Okay. You understand? So that, that that sometimes it's better to go, uh, you know, just regular old wood. The wood ain't gonna really bend like that, and if it do, it's just gonna straight up fail on you. It's gonna break. But like I said, lows like that—that's easy. That's easy stuff. Really? First of all, it's pipe, so it's just straight. Okay. It got dunnage. They all the same size, and it got round edges, which means you ain't gotta put edge protection on. You just throw the scraps and leave. Because you said the edge protection was for square corners. Anything that could possibly cut your strap needs edge protection. Oh, so like a sharp corner. Okay. Any, it could be a sharp corner. It could be a broken corner. It could be, okay. you know, or it could be where it's here and then there's something there and the strap like it's looking like this. Mm -hmm. you, 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 have to, you have to look at that. It could be something where it's so tall that it vibrates and the vibration 
can can burn your scrap and it'll pop. Mm, okay. That's why you see some dudes when 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 they drive by, or if you look at our loads, some of the um, straps are twisted because twisted stops the vibration. So he'll oh. he'll throw it up, he'll uh, take it, he'll twist the strap, then throw it over, and then when you all strap it down, they'll have these twists in them and they won't vibrate like the flat ones. So there's little there's little teeny subtleties. You know, there's a method to all the to the madness, and, and and this position when you're doing open deck, whether it be step deck, SD, SSD, low boy, anything, you do listen to the old head, the flatbed. Okay. You kind of ignore them when you're in the other stuff because they just be talking, but they 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 could tell you something which makes your job super easier. Like if you were out here and I seen your tarps the way I was looking now coming from the place, I would the first thing I would do is stop you and tell you you need to refold them tarps. Because our tarps need to be refolded. They need to be refolded and sprayed down. But Because once you get on top of the load and you open it, if you don't have them folded in a way you want them to be, it falls dumb. So if I want it to fall over the load like this, where it's supposed to go, if they got it folded wrong, I'll open it and the head is going this way, the bottom going that way, and the load's going this way. So now on top of the load, I got to figure out how to spin the tarp where it's supposed to go. Mm, okay. That's a pain in the butt. Okay. So, you, have you ever had anyone up there with you to help you tarp, or you just yeah? I had students. Oh. When I was training, I was flatbed. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I had uh, my boy Matty Ice. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I had Ra Ra. Shout out to Ra Ra, Mississippi. I had uh Stiff Cliff. Those are all guys. Though. Did you ever train a girl? No, I never. I've never trained a woman in anything in trucking. So I'm your first. Yeah, <laughs> and, and it's a funny thing. I never trained a woman with anything in trouble with because I didn't want it to be any sexual tension having sex, and I'm having sex with you. So it's like I will write my man, right? They should give me a medal or something. <laughs> you, you was. I was thinking this guy number one bullshit guy. <laughs> so, mm -mm. no, no, we ain't we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. I rather just I rather keep it simple. You know, one like <laughs> me, Matty Ice, Stiff Cliff, we ran the road. We ran the road, and that's it. And now they've been flatbed. They good. They flatbed ever since. What I liked about uh, Matty Ice was Matty Ice was a was a semi truck tow truck driver for twenty years, oh. so he had a basic understanding of tying something down. Okay. It's just that once you start getting into all this, he he just needed a, a few pointers, and he was good. Did okay. six forty a day. Man, I made some money with Matty Ice. Yeah, I got like, I got a few seventy eight hundred dollar checks with Maddie Ice. Shout out to Maddie Ice. Maddie Ice. Maddie Ice. I need you to send me some of that student, you know. Matter of fact, confidence, so that way I can. Uh, I hope everything went good with your wife, Maddie Ice, because she had some some issues. Uh, I think it was throat some throat cancer or something mm. like that. So I, I hope uh, I think that's the really reason why it kind of fell off and fell back. So I, hopefully everything went good with that, and um, you let me know you get back on the road. Uh, we'll meet up. Yeah, so that's that's it all for this portion. Listen, the vlogs are gonna be long, man. Yeah. Cause we're doing actually what happened. This is a documentation. You understand that? We going off with actually what happened. A lot of people doing foo foo vlogs and all that stuff, which I'm not hating on, cause I do I do like vlogs like that. But this is legit documentation, like real world. Like uh, the real world, remember the real world back in the day? They didn't do no camera tricks. It was just in yeah. your mouth. I want to see from here to like six from, six months from now, for like a year. To where like... you start talking flatbed talk. <laughs> now, see, you did that wrong. He was supposed to twist bucket button strap that. I'm like, what? <laughs> button strap? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But whatever it is I'm about to do, I'm gonna go. I want y'all to remember this smile when <laughs> crap get hard. Cause when it get hard, she's gonna be like, it just ain't me. No, it's you. <laughs> it's you. This is called a new challenge, right? The stuff I do for love. Don't you do this for love, you do it for money. You get paid, you get paid to do this. <laughs> Look how clean her vest is, y'all. Her vest is clean. She out here in booty tights. <laughs> All that's gonna change in a couple of loads. Well, I got clean gloves. Right. It's not like clean gloves, y'all. 
Tell me if you guys throw out your dirty gloves, because I was doing that a lot. Yeah, I definitely don't do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll get a nice pair of gloves. I had two pairs like, of gloves my whole time of milk. Like, spring cleaning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, spring money wasting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so due to COVID, we had to give him a call. And he just said, pull up onto the asphalt, and someone will come out to us. So uh, we're going to see what happens. I mean, this looks like a pretty... From what babe said a pretty easy peasy thing that they're supposed to either have a loader come out and unload or someone else that's on a flatbed with a forklift that comes that's your bar pull your bar out what that's that's your bar right there okay. let me see your bar hand how it handles Yeah, don't do that. Please don't do that. Thank you. All right. This is where you stick it in the hole. Mm. You understand that? You jam it in. And this is where you attach to um, different bars. Mm -hmm. You attach to ratchet straps, snap binders, stuff like that. I'll show you that when we get a, a chain situation. This is your, um, basically the ratchet for the, for the strap. Uh, we have actual ratchet straps, but these are the ones that are actually on the um, truck. I forget the name of them. They're like, I forget the name of them. But what you're going to do is you're going to stick it in this hole. This hole. Well, you're trying to get the biggest bites you can. So what I would do is uh, point point the bar towards it. See that? See how you can't get, the, get, get it in? Yeah. Turn it around and you can jam it in there. And go all the way in. Those deep as you can go. Yeah, well, see, I don't like how it fits, but it's okay. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to push down. Take this arm right here. Make sure that that thumb is around it because it's just not back and pop you up. No, no. Sit. Get, sit like a side of you. Like you're saying, a tension like that. Okay. There you go. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to use your scrimp to push it down until around where your arm kind of locks, mm -hmm. but not all the way. Mm -hmm. So push it down. See where it's right there? Mm hmm now you gotta have one hand on this to keep this, keep this up. So you got one finger on that to keep that up, right? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, now you can let 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 go of start letting this up. Got it somewhere where I can bite it. So the fellas? Yeah. Slide in that monkey. So you're unloosing it. We got to loosen it. We got to take it off. Got you. Okay. I didn't get the concept. Yeah, we're not tightening it. Cool. Bam. Now once it gets to this point, you can just twist it. Out. Let me take your bar with you, baby. You always take the bar with you. <laughs> I don't know why that sounded crazy, but <laughs> that's because we try to get your mind to a point where it's learning and out the gutter. That's what we okay. try to do. <laughs> Use your left hand. Yeah. There it is. Now you gotta back up. Now keep backing up a little bit. Yeah, cause that, that strap will hit you in the eyeball. And it's dirty. Bam, that's done. Now, you gonna yank that one out. See how you do. Feed it through the top till it loosen. There it is. Bam, all right. Now, I have not gotten us a strap roller yet, which is what the other companies I've dealt with gave it to you. Here they don't, they old school. You gotta roll it by hand, baby. Okay. You get the end with no, with no hook. Uh -huh. 
that has the hook. You take that in with no hook, and you just start, you start right. rolling. I can do that. Mm -hmm. Let's see what you got there. And should I roll it like with the sign up, or <laughs> how you roll? No, we flat back it. You just roll it. Just everybody got different theories on how to roll it. You just roll okay, it. Okay. Remember, you gotta do 12 of these, so you ain't got time to be BSing. All right. Making it perfect. It's like rolling up. I don't do drugs, so I don't know what that means. <laughs> but you use them. I don't know nothing what you're talking about. Yeah, this is gonna take all day, huh? Hold this. I got it. No. Darling, I'm, I'm here to teach you. It's your problem. It's your problem in life. You don't know how to take instruction. Yeah, another place, you had 15 people behind you. Why you trying to make stuff look cute? That's whack. Y'all ain't real. And this is the problem. This is the problem. You ain't real. With the community where they don't want to learn. Okay, get stuff all wrinkled up. <laughs> That's what, and this is why you're a hard, it's like, you're the you hardest hard teacher. teacher. No, you're a hard teacher because it's like, we all know you don't be doing, you act like you don't do fancy stuff, but you do. Oh, it gotta be a certain way. You got to do it like this. All I, all I need is to not be wrinkled up. So not be what? Wrinkle. Oh, uh, wrinkle. Because it'll make the roll bigger, and then it can't fit in your uh, box. So that's a good size to have it at. Actually, it'll be small than that if we had the roller. Oh, uh, okay. The roller, you just hook it to the side, and you just spin it, and it rolls it perfectly. Oh. Now I start off like that, old head's gonna be like, I ain't never had a roll on. <laughs> I ain't never. That ain't the point. We getting a roll. Uh -huh. See that? Man. You know the trailer? I start going in the trailer and go all the way around. Okay. When I'm done and fast, then I go all the way around and pull off. Okay. We'll pull the straps to the side so he can do what he gotta do, then we gotta roll them up. Okay. Now when I was teaming with uh Lo. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Lil Sean Parks. Uh-huh. Light Skin McGee. When I was training with him while we were teaming, well, how you'll get to this point, too. One person will go around and unfasten everything, mm -hmm. and the other one will be right behind pulling them down. Oh, okay. That's where that teamwork come in. Let's okay. See. Well, Sean is a flat better by trade. You a rook. Oh, gosh. Lil Sean, if you're watching this, just like... Try to give me some pointers on how the hell you was teaming with him in the first place. Cause it's one thing if I it's one thing when you're with somebody, right? You love them, you care for them. It's another thing when you work with them. So please drop in the comment section tips and tricks on how to handle TB when he flat bed. You know why? Why? He wants to see you go through it. <laughs> Word. Oh, you like go get that top on top of that little. Go get on that. You got it. Ooh, you hear that? That crack, that loosening up. That sounded so scary. Like a scary movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Don't walk into the light, Carolyn. Carolyn. Oh. OMG. Yeah, that tightened up my butthole now. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I forgot about the twist. That's why I was having trouble before you get up here. Uh -huh. You can twist it around. Twist what around? The bar? Light. Okay. And if you go further, you have to twist it like this. Oh, I got you. So that with that that tilted right. part can either come in straight or come in at the bottom. Okay, I see what you're doing. Okay, I see what you got you going on. You learn different techniques that you don't pull that arm out to. Did you get ready in the dark or something? Cause you look like a beautiful nightmare Don't you know? Just wish
baby. Way too. To get as much footage, but. Don't put the meat in your mouth. Mm. Why you always get to try it first, though? I don't get to try it first. Mm, drop. Yeah, I would like to. Boy, you gotta stop. Mm. <laughs> People don't know nothing about boxing. <laughs> we gotta change the ISO, y'all. Oh, and I'm trying to. Round. I'm asking you, do you want it now? You want to take it? I have it. You got a crown. I ain't gonna do nothing to you. <laughs> you should not do anything. You got like I'm about to do something to you. I mean. I'll take a bite, you can have half of it. All right, we'll split the shrimp. Okay. Because that's how much I love you. Mm. Mm, got them right down. <laughs> you ain't got to snatch out my ham. Mm, got them got them soup cooler lips. <laughs> I think you're really cool. Yeah, that's what I said. You break it, you bought it. testing out recipes I'm gonna be doing my best to find things that make sense to cook on the truck but this one right here was oh. it was good don't do drugs be happy her TikTok where you can see the stuff being made is way to fly baby i'll put it in the description and let me know what you guys are cooking on the truck um, if you guys have any cool tips and tricks on what you guys are cooking on the truck how you're storing your cooking supplies and different things on the truck that would be greatly appreciated because we've been off the truck so long so i have to get back into that groove and rhythm but yeah shrimp steak asparagus mushrooms um, all in this air fryer it took a little while because I had to do one thing at a time, but it was totally worth it. It was like a three course, four course romantic dinner by the, the pier. <laughs> and my TikTok is, no one cares about me, she got to say hers, but no one even thought about me saying mine, which is Truck of Brown Zero, all one word. We're Audi 5000, be safe out there. Love yourself and please don't crash. Do everything DOT wants you to do. This is the first vlog, y'all. Back to step deck.